everyone for joining us for orchestration monthly number five uh, we are happy to get started sans soundtrack um although again you know again not the worst music to listen to um i am anthony mandeli and uh content lead here at agoric systems and we're going to give you a quick overview of what we got today um, we have a developer update for you we have um, Giovanni and Chris on the DevRel team and Brendan on the product team. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about <clears throat> what orchestration is, some updates to the DevRel team, an upcoming workshop that we've got planned, and uh, an update on Upgrade 16. So uh, lots of really neat, meaty bits to go through. And uh, yeah, we'll dive right in. So just to make sure we're all on the same page and recap, um, you know, we're talking about orchestration, which is the product that Agoric has launched and coming up. We're super excited about the releases coming out this summer. Um, orchestration, broadly speaking, is the capability. Oh, um, is everyone hearing me OK? Sorry, I'm hearing that there's potential audio audio issues. Can hear you fine. All right, I'm cool. OK, so anyway, uh, I'll, uh, I'll keep going then. Um, so yeah, orchestration is the capability to build user-friendly apps that coordinate assets and services across blockchains. So essentially, it's a way to uh, you know really enhance the interoperability of an application that you're building. Um, Agoric's orchestration capabilities let you build these apps that can really seamlessly access liquidity and features on multiple chains. Whether you've got you know multiple accounts in multiple different uh, uh, Cosmos zones, for example, it makes it easier for developers to program all sorts of really cool multi-chain transactions that ultimately are really easy for the end users of their applications. Um, you know, so it's a big benefit for developers uh, who want to build these really cool intricate cross-chain experiences. Uh, and users, end result, you get a much better experience. You get uh, defragmented liquidity, better UX. And you know, this is a big part of what you know, Agoric uh, organizations like Particle, Near frontier uh you know we're all pushing for you know introducing chain abstraction so this is our our take on that <clears throat> all right now that that is out of the way i'm really happy to bring up first uh giovanni who's a new addition to the devrel team um he's going to be working on some really super cool exciting projects with us and uh yeah uh, i'm super excited to bring him up and talk a little bit about what he's going to be doing with agoric and sort of how he got into crypto and you know what you guys should be bothering him about on discord so without further ado yeah, let's do it giovanni you thank you for coming can you guys hear me yep 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 loud and hello, clear hello. okay you guys hear me? okay perfect perfect cool all right so yeah pleasure um, to be here pleasure to kind of meet some people uh good yeah awesome thank you so okay. much for coming on and um you know for context everyone i asked Giovanni yesterday i was like hey would you mind coming up on spaces and giving us your life story and telling us everything you're doing at agoric and he was like no problem you got it man um which <laughs> respect appreciate it uh, can, how long so have you talk all day so i'll try to keep it short all right all right we have the this is the classic twitter spaces lag so i'm going to make sure to leave a little bit of time there yeah <laughs> i'm noticing that too yeah, man i'm sorry <laughs> okay so okay so i'll just start talking interrupt me if, if uh if anything uh so yeah my name is giovanni i've probably been here to work for almost 60 days uh i joined as a developer relations engineer uh, been an engineer for about 15 years. Um, I joined crypto in 2015. Uh, the I was working in research and development at the time. And my employer at the time pretty much put a red folder on my desk with Satoshi's paper in it and said, figure out what the hell this is, figure out how we can build on top of it, build a better one, etc. So it kind of started like a multi-year arc of me building open source layer one protocols. Uh, this is predating Cosmos, SDK, and Substrate. And um, it's interesting because over time, you kind of see all of these really smart people build way better protocol development frameworks. Mm -hmm. so pretty awesome stuff. Um, being here to work, the one thing that actually excited me about coming here was, A, the team. I have to start there, right? Like, I'm joining an already world-class team for the people who don't know. And uh, so, you know, it's it's an op it was an opportunity to be the dumbest person in the room, for lack of a better phrase, right? I, I definitely like that feeling. Um, and the biggest thing for me that, that really excited me about Agoric was their whole approach to orchestration. Because you see all of this chain abstraction narrative happening, 
but Agoric's approach is actually really novel and the tech stack, tech stack is really deep. Like for example, this idea of using asynchronous, asynchronicity in JavaScript and promises to orchestrate cross-chain messages is unheard of and it doesn't exist in the space, right? So it's an, it was an opportunity to come and work on some truly new things in the world and it's pretty exciting. So for the for, so the last part here is uh, for anybody in the audience, uh, my role here is to pretty much help anybody building on Agoric succeed at that mission, whether that be building some new things for you guys to use to help you build easier or faster, or whether it be to literally be with you coding, fixing stuff to help you get through the problems that you're getting through throughout your development journey. So, you know, bug me with any type of questions, technical or non-technical, in any way I can help you, you guys, uh, you know, don't hesitate to reach out. But pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, thank you so much, Giovanni. And I mean, we you can always um, interact with our DevRel team on uh, on Discord. They're super active there. And uh, I mean, you know, they're bopping around, always looking to help people. And I mean, I was looking at my bingo card and I think, Giovanni, you hit um, the asynchronous, you hit orchestration, you hit uh, pretty much all of the marketing key phrases. So you're going to get your trophy at the end of this. Thank you very much. <laughs> that, that's good because all I was doing was just telling an honest truth. So it's, that's what we call in this space incentive compatibility, maybe, but I digress. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. Um, and so, Giovanni, you were with us in Austin uh, for a while, and you came to Abstract Austin and got to spend some time at Consensus. Uh, you know, given you're you're new to Agoric, you're new to the ecosystem. Um, can you share a little bit? Like, what was your take about Abstract Austin? What are some of the things that you thought were interesting there? <laughs> yeah, okay, good question. So the first thing I thought was the most interesting was the. Uh, abstract paintings that they were that the guy was doing those were cool and you know what's funny it took me until getting back home to realize that the abstract painting guy was a play on chain abstraction <laughs> so don't know you know don't judge me for that but more more importantly i think the the most important the coolest thing for me there was to see the um, amount of uh their uh developers with various backgrounds that were genuinely excited about doing advanced cross-chain stuff and it was really rewarding for me to see what the developers are trying to build and see how easy it would be with either the orchestration api that's about to launch or the next iteration of it and so kind of being able to explain things to developers in person is something that kind of gives me a lot of energy and so a lot of times me talking to a dev and they not knowing something and then i'm able to give them just a slight a slightly a slight just being able to give them more information than they have and seeing the light bulb go off in front of me, I think is something that it gives me a really interesting dopamine hit all the time. So that was the most important, the most exciting part was being around people in person and getting them excited, even more excited about building in this space and seeing what problems they're trying to solve. I think that's the most exciting part about any type of developer relations in this space is you get to keep your ear to the street and see what people are actually building right that are in the news so i think that was super exciting for sure obviously yeah talks absolutely too, that was something at home i can definitely uh i can definitely relate you know um i saw this in austin and it's something that we've seen time and again at the different chain abstraction events at the different chain abstraction conversations um there's really a really big uh, focus on you know collaboration and how we can all work together because we're all trying to solve the same problems from different angles and um you know, people tend to get excited about what the other use cases are and uh, the different tooling and technology that other people are building. So it's uh, that's been just a really nice benefit of these various chain abstraction conversations. Um, in particular, just seeing the aha moments that you know come to people when they kind of get like, oh yeah, this is what chain abstraction is trying to solve, and this is how this is how I can do it. Um, which actually is a perfect segue. Uh, speaking of aha moments, we're going to next uh, talk to our resident aha moment guru, Chris Bennett on the DevRel side, um, who is the educational master. Uh, Giovanni, thank you so much for chatting with us about uh, you know uh, what you're going to be doing here. Welcome to the team. Uh, hit him up in Discord if you want to talk about any sorts of super cool stuff. You you heard his credentials. He's clearly a crypto OG. So um, you know don't don't hold your punches. And uh, welcome to the team, Giovanni. Now 
Chris, welcome back to the uh, to the stage. It's been a while since we've chatted on Spaces. How have you been? Hey, man, I've been doing great. Appreciate you guys having me back up here. All right. Yeah, my pleasure. Um, and it seems like we got the lag situation figured out. So we will have a nice little give and take here going on. Um, how long have you been with the team now, Chris? Uh, you know, it'll be a year in August. So time flies when you're having fun. I'll tell you that. It, uh, it doesn't feel like it's been that long. Uh, yeah tell me about it I, I, and i and i can swear uh, marketing did not make him say he's having fun that was a genuine sentiment um wow so in that past year what have you been working on you know um i'll, I'll kind of reiterate something giovanni was talking about and you know at devrel our mission is really just about empowering developers to use the great technology that's coming out of engineering so um, you know, we've been spending the, the past year making sure that all the resources that surround the technology we build are, are there, they're adequate, they're available, they're helpful. Um, and so that's why I'm so excited to be here talking to you guys today. Oh, well, that's amazing. And, um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, um, Chris, you're leading uh, one of the workshops that we've got coming up next week. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, one of the things we've been working on behind the scenes to support orchestration and developers looking to build great apps using the technology um, is some educational materials, a, a full curriculum that developers can go through to learn the Agoric tech stack and how to build applications, how to use the new orchestration API. So uh, next week we'll be doing a introductory webinar, um, introducing some of these materials to the public for the first time. So um, you know, if you're a developer and you've been wanting to build on Agoric or you know some folks who fit that profile, um, share the good news with them. Oh, that sounds awesome. Uh, oh, right. I mean, like, I, I, I've, I've had the pleasure of having Chris explain some of the Agoric concepts to me before. And if you've had the chance to join one of the Welcome to the Agoric sessions, you know as well as I do that it's going to be a good time and he's going to break down some crazy stuff for you and make it nice and digestible. So. I'm super looking forward to it. Um, so you were saying, can you tell us again, who are the type of people who you think would be like well positioned to really uh, just absorb the material here and hit the ground running for this workshop? Yeah, absolutely. This material for folks who are seasoned JavaScript developers who have been in the Web3 space for a while, you understand Web3 concepts and decentralization, uh, but you're new to Agoric. Um, so you're really looking to add that Agoric specialty into your skill set. Um, now, <clears throat> I would encourage anybody, if you don't fit that profile, you know, if you're um, new as a developer or maybe you're a developer and you're new to Web3, um, reach out anyway. This, this webinar might not be the right event, but we would love to help you connect with the right information and um, help you along on your Web3 journey. But uh, really, folks who are, who are interested in building on Agoric, that's our, our target audience right now. Oh, awesome. Um, I just dropped in the replies to the space a link to the uh, to the workshop. So if you are interested, feel free and sign up. Um, but yeah, so it sounds like, you know, people who've got, you know, they've got some uh, some dev experience under their belt. They're pretty familiar with uh, with building some software, have some idea about what they're going to do on Agoric. So um, you're telling me that I'm probably not the target audience then. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome to join anyway, Ant man. We'll get you up to speed. I, I think you undersell your abilities far too often. Um, you probably make a, a heck of a developer. And uh, I'll, I'll tease the audience a little bit for this uh, first webinar we're doing because it, it's the very first iteration. Um, we're limiting signups just to keep it, the, the group size somewhat manageable. So space is limited. So if you're interested, um, sign up before that spot is gone. All right, I won't take a space from someone who could actually learn uh, to do this, but the, the Chris Get Ant-Man to Deploy an App Challenge is officially on the table, and we'll talk about that another day. Um, awesome. Um, a little bit about that. you know. So if someone is going to be coming to this workshop, or is there anything they can do beforehand just to make sure that they're set up to get the most out of it? Um, you know, we'll, we'll be covering a lot. So I would say, you know, just get a good night's sleep, uh, eat a, eat a good breakfast, um, uh, make sure you're, you're feeling good. Um, brains firing on all cylinders and you're ready to ask some good questions. Um, but you know, really we're, we're going to start at, at ground zero for folks who are new to Agoric. So, um, there are no prerequisites, you know, other than, uh, just being bright and alert and ready and having a good internet connection and, um, being ready to have a little fun along the way. 
and you're telling me that I need to get enough sleep, eat healthy, and drink enough water beforehand. You should be I'm doing absolutely that anyway, not man. coming. <laughs> All right, let's let's work on that first, and then we can get you in the next webinar <laughs> when uh, when you're firing on all cylinders. All right, well, yeah, we'll we'll talk, we'll talk. All right, this sounds like it's going to be an awesome, awesome workshop. Um, I mean, for people who are interested in you know in the workshop and they're really looking to kind of you know take that next step afterwards, um, you know, what would you recommend for people who are really thinking long term about building on Agoric? Like, what's the next step that they should keep their eyes out for? Absolutely. So like I said, we've put together a, a full curriculum. This workshop is just going to be covering the introductory parts of that. Um, you know, it's it's about uh, four to six hours of content in total. So it's a little much to cover in a 90 minute workshop. But um, for folks who do attend that workshop, and they're looking to, to continue, um, you can continue down that learning journey. By the time you get through the last module, you'll understand the orchestration API, um, and you will be well equipped to go out and architect, design, develop and deliver some uh, really game changing applications. So um, I'm really excited to see what comes out of this. Oh, this is awesome. I mean, that's really, really good to hear. Um, yeah, so keep in mind, you know, if you're interested in the Agoric, uh, the Agoric Orchestration API, you're interested in building on Agoric, or if you're going to be paying attention to, uh, you know, what we've got coming up at Nebular, I'm just saying it's probably a good idea to join this workshop and start paying attention to this curriculum now, so that way you're well positioned to, you know, start hitting the ground running building when the time is right. Um, awesome. Chris, yeah, thank I feel you like so there much. Were some subtle hints in between the lines there, if, if uh, folks were reading. <laughs> so, hint, hint, wink, wink. Just, I uh, just thought, I, you know, I'm looking out for people's best interest. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's my job to make sure people have all the information they need to make the best decisions. Uh, you know, that's just what I try to do. Um, thank you very much, Chris, for walking us through that. Again, I dropped the link to the workshop and the replies here. It's also pinned on the Agoric Twitter account. So feel free to RSVP and sign up, check that out, and uh, stay tuned for more information on the Agoric Developer Curriculum. Um, so, you know, we mentioned a few times that we're going to kind of... the, the Sorry, let me try that again with words. We mentioned a few times that, you know, this uh, workshop is going to tee you up really well to take advantage of building on the Agoric Orchestration Platform. And uh, the Agoric Orchestration Platform would, uh, you know, wouldn't be much without the upcoming Upgrade 16. So we've got uh, Brendan from the product side here to give us a little bit of an update there. Oh, if you're okay. Brendan, are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Good. I just, it, you know, you never, you never know. Um, thanks for coming on, Brendan. Let's uh, let's talk about upgrade sixteen. You know, the question on everyone's mind: When upgrade sixteen? Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, so you know, upgrade sixteen has been in the works for for some time now. Um, we are painfully close to to being co complete. Um, I'm not going to overcommit, but you know, we're we're in the very last stages. Uh, hopefully, a matter a matter of days before we get that over the line, and we can start moving to uh, to our kind of release process through um, through Emirnet or testnet. Um, but the team have been working really hard here, and we're really focused on on landing all the pieces and 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 shipping this this critical upgrade. So I know um, Ahmed, do you want me to kind of go into a bit more detail about what we got, what what's coming in sixteen? Um, yeah, definitely. And I just want to put the context out there that, um, you know, in, in, in the past, not, you know, the team has worked very hard on every upgrade. That's very clear. But, you know, upgrade 16 is a little bit different compared to upgrades in the past. Um, and it's pretty special. So as Brendan walks through what's actually going on and what's uh, what's included in up upgrade 16, um, you know, bear in mind that this is, at least in my opinion, one of the most exciting upgrades that we've done on chain. Um, but I mean, from objectively speaking, from a quantitative perspective, this is literally the coolest shit that we've done so far. So, um, yeah, without further ado, Brendan, take it away. <laughs> yeah, so so Upgrade 16 is is, is definitely Agoric's largest and most ambitious um, chain upgrade to date. So, you know, it includes, at a high level, it includes the different buckets of changes that, you know, both span new functionality, you know, enabling... Um, orchestration MVP capabilities, um, and also including the supporting kind of stack upgrade that enables it, but also um, some big sustainability and performance performance pieces. So, you know, 
we're really excited for this to ship. Um, so much has gone into this. You know, the the big benefit here will be um, unleashing the orchestration core, what we're calling core um, uh, MVP capabilities. And so this bucket of work includes stuff like, you know, um, enabling account creation on, on a host chain, interchain accounts, um, a lot of durability and upgradability work for some um, components that are required by, by interchain accounts, details are VAT network and VAT IBC, don't need to go into those. Um, there's also uh, an integration of IBC packet forwarding middleware. And this, uh, you know, for folks who are familiar with Squid, um, you know, enables easier multi-chain asset movement through IBC chains. So obviously that's a super critical component to orchestration and, and a piece that we need. Uh, there's also uh, an Agora contract middleware that we're launching, which is, you know, high level of wrapper for IBC contract app channels. Uh, it intercepts inbound and outbound packet uh, transfer packets. Um, and enables packet forwarding. There's also a vTransfer uh, module that allows for contracts to react to uh, notifications. So all these little pieces um, kind of funnel down into ultimately our, our orchestration MVP capabilities. Um, the upgrade also includes uh, an interchain stack upgrade, which we see as the Cosmos level pieces that are needed to to be in place uh, in order to support orchestration in general. So this is kind of getting some of the some of the infrastructure stack ready to uh, support the, the ongoing orchestration work. Um, and then, you know, the 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 sustainability performance pieces, we're, you know, internally we call this our mainnet sustainability, all efforts to improve and, and scale uh, mainnet performance um, for anticipated growth. Yeah, includes, you know, Zoe offer durability, um, making sure there's upgradability there. We can, uh, you know, offers can uh, survive upgrades and there's nothing lost. Uh, also price feeds, there's a big price feed change here. Um, we had to address some storage and memory growth issues and this huge bunch of work that we did around this and it now enables us to add additional price feeds uh, for, for new inter-collateral uh, inter collateral types. So that's great. That unlocks inter-protocol to uh, start looking forward towards um, towards new support collateral types. So that's gonna be really exciting for the, for the inter-protocol team. Uh, and then lastly, um, we're making the vault contract upgradable. And so what this means is um, previously when we made changes there, uh, you know, we had to essentially deploy a new contract, uh, but this allows us to deploy changes much quicker uh, without having to do this new contract deployment. So that's a that's a big interrelated enhancement um, in terms of how that contract operates. But yeah, kind of, you know, there's, there's a lot in that. Um, uh, the, the the thing to take away is 16 is the start of orchestration and this all lays the groundwork for um, for all these capabilities. And, and so, you know, everything after 16 will be incrementally um, expanding orchestration capabilities. And so once this lands, we're, you know, we're really set up to, to lean in hard and, uh, and, and embrace the, the orchestration um, features. So. I thank you for that super detailed walkthrough of what's going on with upgrade 16, Brendan. Um, that was awesome. Um, so Roland, if you're listening in one of your alt accounts, you know that Brendan just did a really good job. Um, this is really, really, really amazing. Um, and just thinking about it, you know, it, it reminds me of Brendan on a, an earlier call in the year, you mentioned how, um, you know, inner protocol, when they onboarded the first sort of community led collateral type, um, that that was like, you know, the zero to one is really that first hardest lift and then one to two and everything after is much easier. And I just think about how, uh, you know, the pace of adding new collateral types, you know, after that new one and how what, what a difference that makes, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a good uh, good analogy. Yeah, like exactly. So, so 16 has, you know, it's exactly, it's a zero to one for orchestration. It's getting the underlying pieces in play it's 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 actually launching some some capabilities that can actually be used like as soon as we upgrade, uh, and then of course we have our, our API coming a little bit further down the pike, and so you know everything is going to move a lot faster and a lot quicker and, and kind of um, be more seamless uh, once this upgrade drops. So that's that's yeah exactly. This is our zero to one from a um, an orchestration perspective, and uh, yeah, it'll be a big uh, it'll be a big shift. It'll be amazing. Um, you know, we'll next time we have our orchestration call on the update, we'll have to make sure we put Roland on the spot to grow him a little bit about the uh, the, the API. Uh, it'll be it'll be his turn. So, well, on, awesome. the, on that actually, I'll, I'll reference that. Um, 
So we, we have a new PM who started, uh, Tim, he's actually listening here. Uh, he will be taking over the orchestration API uh, product management. And so he, you know, if he does well, he'll put Roland out of a job on that front. So fingers crossed. I mean, that's all we want, right? <laughs> uh, awesome. Well, I mean, uh, Tim, feel free to feel free to wave, and uh, you're welcome to request to speak if you want to come up and say hi. Just as we close out here, um, you know, we had we had Giovanni come up and say hello and introduce himself. So um, I, I wouldn't deprive you of the opportunity to walk us through your you know your whole origin story and give us the Tim lore. We can do that in another episode. But if you want to say hi, you're more than welcome to hop on. But uh, I I say I'm not going to put you on the spot as I'm literally putting you on the spot. Um, we are actually, according to my schedule, into the sign-off and uh, upcoming events. And right now, the marketing director is messaging me, telling me that I have to talk about the upcoming events, or I'm going to be the one who's out of a job, and then Tim's going to have to do the social media. So with that said, let's go into what do we have coming up next? The workshop on June 20th, that's going to be the Agoric Fundamentals workshop led by Chris B. on the DevRel side. Get everything you need to start building on Agoric, equip yourself with all the tools and skills to take advantage of the upcoming orchestration capabilities. It's going to be awesome. And it's also going to be kind of an exclusive event. So come hang out with us and learn how Agoric works and start building. There's a link to that on our Twitter profile. Feel free to click an RSVP there. In July, if you're going to be in Brussels, well, guess what? So are we. We'll be around ETCC. We're co-hosting a chain abstraction day with Near. We're going to be at Nebular and a whole bunch of other events that are going to be around in the city. So keep an eye out on our social media to find out where we are feel free to message and reach out to any of us in the team if you want to set up a meeting and be sure to join our discord community that's where our devrel team is that's where i am that's where our partnerships teams are we all kind of hang out in discord and we're ready to chat with everyone and uh, you know really get to know you more and figure out how we can find your place on agoric so um, unless any of the other speakers have anything else to say we can close it out one minute early and you know, uh, while Dean and Roland and uh, and everyone are off, you know, working, they're they're busy, and they let us do this. I think we did a good job without them. We don't need parents. All right, thanks, everyone. <laughs>